up YouTube? This is Nick. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to do a beginner's course on JavaScript. Um, we're going to focus on the console.log and the document.write methods. And I'll, I'll be explaining and what it does and its purpose as I give you this tutorial. So, yeah. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the text editor. Um, as you can see, there's already an HTML file already in here. There's already basic text needed for it to appear on the page or on the DOM. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is add a script tag. So it's going to look like, look like this. Script source equals... Um, you're gonna add your name, the name of the JS file, and my in my case, I named the index one.js, so it's gonna look like that. And then you want to close the script tag, or the script, yeah, script tag, just like that. Save, check, refresh it, make sure, go into elements, make sure that in the body that is there, as you can see, it's already written. Check on it. Uh, anyways, going back in here. Now, what I want to do is I want to add a, um, a console.log method. Um, a method, a console.log method, it just writes a message to the console, and it's very used for, t for testing. So it'll look, it'll look like this. So your first line of code for today, it'll be a console.log in parentheses. Inside you're, gonna, inside, you're gonna add a string, and you're gonna say hello world. Like so. Hit save. Add a semicolon back here. Save it again. Refresh. Now over here, just hit the console right here. Bam! There goes hello world right over here. You can see it right there. So that's one way. That's one way to see your code. Or see results in your code. Another way, if you want to see some results in the code, you can see it directly in the DOM. Um, you can do the the, the write method uh, or the document dot write, and that method allows HTML expressions in the document. So it'll look like this. We're gonna leave that there. So this one's gonna say document. It's gonna say document dot write, and in parentheses, and then you know you do the little quotations on top for your string for a string. And then you're going to do the same thing. Hello world. Like so. Let's add a little period here this time. And then add the semicolon. Let's save it. Go to file and save. We're going to go into the Google Chrome. Refresh it. And you should have hello world right there in the DOM. Now, if you want to make it um, big, you can just um, add an h1 tag inside the document.write method inside the quotations like this. It'll look like this. Just add h1. And you can see it auto auto generate on the other side. But I like to delete it and rewrite it again. I'm very repetitive in my writing, but I think I like it because I feel like I get very familiar with syntax that way. So that's just my style. Everybody has their own, so you find what's best for you. So anyways, save it in. Go back to the Google Chrome, refresh it. Bam, there you see, H1, document, increase the font of the of your hello world statement. And as you can see, if you follow through, then you, you just wrote your first two line of code. Welcome to JavaScript. That's all I got for you today. If you, if you found this video uh, available in any way, then just give me um, a comment below or any suggestions in the future. If you like the video, just give me a thumbs up.